So today we're going to be doing the microscopic exam of a blood smear. So I've got a few different things here. We've got an EDTA tube of fresh blood. I'm going to get it inverted a few times just to show you that we have no clots. I have a bunch of microscope slides because this is how we make our blood films. And they're in capillary tubes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off taking the lid off this and we're going to fill this capillary tube. Okay. Okay, we have our capillary tube filled with blood. We're going to put a small drop here. That should be plenty. We're just going to use another slide to pick up all the blood along the edge. And then swap down. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see, there's a nice tapered edge there. Okay, so hopefully you can see that there. So now we're just going to let this dry. So I'm just going to lean it up against this button down. So we're getting a clean slide. We're going to put a drop. Small drop. This time we're going to set it on the tabletop. So we're going to use our spreader slide to come back and pick it up. And then spread it. like that. So now that we have this one as well, we're going to set it down, let it air dry, but down. We're just going to let both of these air dry for a few minutes and once they're completely dry, we're going to use the dye. Okay, so um, why is it important for the students film to have a gradual transition from the thicker body of the film to the feathered edge? So pretty much this is because the thickened edge um, is the cells are more clumped together, whereas the feathered edge, um, you can ident identify individual cells much easier, um, which is important when you're reading a blood film. So next step is now that these are dry, I'm going to take them over here and we don't have the frosted ends, so I've literally just put some tape on the tips of these. I'm about to go clip the tape off really quick. And then we're going to stain these. So, let me come over here. have our dip quick stains here as you can see. I'm going to move my papers over here. So I'm going to open each of these up. Alright. So we're going to hold it butt end up. We're going to do it 10 times for one second. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we're going to go to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to use our water and we're going to clear off the film and we're just going to let it air dry. So I'm going to, I don't really have anywhere to set these so I'm literally just going to set this here so that it could just relax against that box. Now we're going to do the same thing with our other one. 
pulling the butt end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I accidentally did too much. a moment and I accidentally dropped my second slide but the feathered edge is still there so I can still look at this microscopically after it air dries. Last but not least we're going to take our dried slides and we're going to write the patient ID number, the animal's name, and the date. Okay. Same for this one that got messed up. All right, that's it.